The moment we have all been waiting for. Not even a pandemic can keep Dr. Pimple Popper from life-changing work she does. We are right in the middle of this pandemic, so we've had to change the way that we see patients here in the office. Are you okay? I'm just so excited to see you. Kids would make a funny face and I just got really embarrassed. Kids can exclude you because of it, huh? Mm -hmm. He's been broken for so long, and when he said that he was willing to see you, I wasn't gonna take no for an answer. And I'm so glad we are not taking no for an answer. Here to talk about the new season of her show, please welcome none other than Dr. Sandra Lee, also known as yeah! Dr. Pimple Popper. Thank you so much. We're a rowdy bunch in New York City. I hope you're prepared for the shenanigans. Yes. Okay, good. I, I just, I, before Sure, we, of course, bring it on. Before we say this, you literally saved me during the pandemic because I was alone in my bed with no television and I would scroll through Instagram and an hour would pass by and I was still looking at you picking blackheads with your comedone, with your tools. I wanted to buy one. So thank you. You are like our, our, our savior and our arbiter. And by our, I mean mine. Oh. And it makes you feel good, right, too. Yes. It decreases anxiety. It just takes the, you seeing the pressure release in front of your eyes, you know? Yes. And I think that that helps with us with stress. Ab absolutely. So you're back for another season, shot during a pandemic. So first of all, congratulations. Um, you have to get very close to your patients, right? You're in an operating room. You are a physician. How do you do it? And how have you been managing I think that the key really was having a, an a adding another waiting room that or a meeting room that was outside because that at least gave us this more uh, added element of safety and the ability to remove our masks because I talk that's really the way that you can communicate and connect with people. We all know that it's so hard to talk to somebody mm -hmm. and really know what they're thinking or feeling if they if you can only see their eyes. So the 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 ability to do that was really key. Um, and that changed things a little bit, certainly, but the pops are the same. The pops <laughs> are bigger than ever, and the stories are just as big as ever. The people is really what makes this so darn special and makes me feel so lucky to be a part of it, and, uh, um, and that's what makes it so fantastic. And I was going to say, you know, for, for those of us who watch the show, you know, it is that extreme close-up of whatever epidermis you're working on. But it seems like from the trailer that we're seeing more about the people and their backstories. And was that deliberate? And so how is this going to change the show for this season? Um, I, well, I always think there's al there's always a story about w with the people, and that's really how my social media has been from the get go. I think one of the things that I've always been fascinated with are my patients and who they are and where they come from and what you can learn from them. And it was always interesting to me to like present to people cases where you would watch the blackhead or you'd watch the extraction, but then you'd sort of fall in love with the person behind mm -hmm. it. Uh, you know, that patience behind it and learn something from them, because that's what I that's what I get the most out of, you know, being a dermatologist in practice. And uh, so I think it's just transferred, you know, to to the show, too. And that just shows it, it humanizes us. It really shows us that, you know, you might look at this and think, how can this person live like this? I mean, is this person like crazy or mm -hmm. is there something wrong with them that they, but then you, you talk to them and you realize they're just like us, right? They just have had this thing that they've had to deal with and it's been very difficult for them to get it treated. And so you really, they're just like anyone else. And, and you feel for them when they have something, you know, taken care of, because now you realize that they can be like the rest of us, right. be in society, be able to t talk to people, be able to get out of their house and feel normal. And feel normal and feel presentable and you really are transforming lives. And I actually wanna bring in the team because so many of us are, it, it's voyeuristic, right? To watch you get in there mm. and, and do this oh thing. And I think yeah. when, uh -huh. especially in a city like New York or a city like Los Angeles, you think of a dermatologist, you think of collagen shots and Botox, but you do so much more than that. Um, why why do the the pimples and the extractions and all that versus the glamorous botox and collagen yeah, yeah. 
Uh, you know, I, I do do uh, probably like half of my practice is cosmetics and doing uh, soft cosmetics like Botox and filler. And then I do like liposuction and, Ooh. you know, lasers and, and things like that. So um, it's just that it's more captivating. I think it seems to be something that people just are amazed with. And uh and you probably yeah. know this, or you, you popaholics in the audience, that you oh, yeah. get this release. It makes you feel good it does. to watch oh, this yeah. sort of it's thing. So and weird. Uh, yeah, and, and there's a lot of people that are putting up, you know, Botox and filler sort of thing. So, so uh, you know, it's it's nice to be different. It's nice to be pimple popper. <laughs> First yeah. time caller, long time listener. Um, so I, this face used to be covered in acne. And, the, and you always used to hear this thing of like, don't pop your pimples, right? It scars. Mm -hmm. So number one, should you pop a pimple? And number two, what's the biggest, grossest thing you've ever popped? <laughs> <laughs> Those are two di very different questions. Well, first of all, I'm going to be like every other dermatologist and say, you're not, I don't want you to pop your own pimples. But I do think, I, or I know that a lot of us can't help yeah. but do that. So I think that like my, my job is sort of to, educate people and tell them the best time to do that and uh that's what i try to do just in short it's when it's the most superficial in the skin because yeah. then you're going to create the less, least trauma and you're more uh -huh. likely to get rid of the pimple we've all had that in instance where we squeeze something mm -hmm. and it just got bigger yes. and that's what you you're want like to avoid um the yeah. biggest thing that i've ever well we keep talking it seriously yeah. we keep topping it in terms of like the gro the biggest growth but the grossest growth um Ah, that's that's hard. I mean, I'm more grossed out by other bodily functions than <laughs> than pimples. Uh, pimple popping. I tell people as long as I've got gloves on and I've got a splash mask on, I'm good. Oh, you I mean, like, I we are almost out of time, like, I, but I gotta get this in. What, what about blackheads? Yeah, What's on. the best way to get those blackheads out and thing. reduce the pore? Reduce the pore. Well, one of the things certainly is to um, you know wash your face steam your face maybe take a hot shower because it's going to soften the oh, the dirt and the, the debris pores, in your right? pores and and also going to help to dilate your pores a uh -huh. little bit right you want to make things easy to extract and then usually i use a comedone extractor that little instrument with the little loop in right. it that yeah. you've Love seen it. um on my on my you know videos and and you just put even pressure but make sure instruments are clean and the biggest thing is no one to pop and no one to stop. Like, <laughs> if you cannot <laughs> get one something pop, out of there, then you're not going to I was just going to say it. Oh, it's like Pringles. Man. Dr. Lee, it is so <laughs> wonderful to meet you. Thank you so much for your time and your energy. And check out the new season of Dr. Pimple Popper <laughs> Monday nights on TLC. I'll see you tonight yeah. on my screen. You don't see me back. I was just looking on Instagram. <laughs> Woo wee. Brace yourself. We love you. Thank you. Happy doing. New Year. Okay, Dr.